Welcome to Pokemon Theory. This is Johnny and today we're going to talk about two different theories in one video. So for the first theory it will be alternative leveling up and for the second theory it will be Team Flare are based off of Nazis. Now you may have heard Nazis in there. Don't get offended. I'm just making a comparison and you know these are just theories that I'm going to be talking about which have nothing to do with being facts. So to start off our first Pokemon theory, I'm going to be talking about alternative leveling up. What do I mean by alternative leveling up? I'm talking about Pokemons that can level in different ways instead of battling. Now, as you know that in the Pokemon game side, there's the rare candies that you can get. But I'm talking about the anime side. So the anime side, if you remember on episode 6 where Ash goes to Pewter City and he fights Brock. Um, he meets the father of Brock and the father of Brock tells him that he can help Pikachu get a little more stronger and he uses this device machine which Ash had to run on on his bike on a bicycle to electrify the power and give um, Pikachu electric shocks so this is a possible way that Pokemon could level up depending on their skills giving more power energy it's not like going to the Poke Center and uh, like fueling your health, but it's actually giving Pikachu power in order to in order to be leveling up faster. So it's kind of a cheat way of leveling up. Of course, in the series and the anime side, it's all about skill and effort and different type of stuff. But this is an alternative way. Could there be a, could there be a trainer that? would only use those type of methods to leveling up his Pokemon. There could be like different types of genetic changes and stuff leveling up like that. Cause you know Mewtwo is an extremely strong Pokemon even though he's considered legendary but he was genetic made. Could it be that in the series there are Pokemon that can level up by genetically or scientific stuff. Maybe like proteins and stuff like that like steroids actually for Pokemon. It's actually quite interesting when you see it. Another method that I believe that Pokemon level up is when they get beat in battle. It doesn't matter. Like in the games, when you're playing the games, you see the Pokemon. They, they can only get experience points if they are defeating the opposite opponent. So if they're beating their opponent, they get the experience points they need in order to level up. But on this case, they can also level up even if they get defeated in a battle. Why? Because it, the Pokemon still gains an experience point from the battle that it lost, but next time it could evolve. Because as you see Ash's Pokemons, when they are getting like really whooped, um, where they're getting like, like totally hammered on, he, they start to evolve at certain random points. They just evolve, and it doesn't matter. Like when Beedrill hit the Metapod, Metapod automatically started evolving into Butterfree. So yeah, it is possible that by Pokemon being hurt or after a couple of battles they have experience points and if they evolve they are leveling up indeed so that makes their skill go a little bit more higher as well so that's what I mean by the alternative theory of Pokemon leveling up for our next Pokemon theory is Team Flare based off of Nazis well if you're getting offended by this already just by me saying that Please leave the video and don't watch the rest. I'm not trying to offend anyone. It's just comparisons of a theory that's not true. Just basically off of random theories. Alright, so let's get started with the theory. So of course Team Flare is in France because you know Kalos, the region is based off of France and that's a place where the Nazis had control during World War II. But that's just a comparison. Now this is where it gets more interesting. Team Flare wants to create a beautiful world. And what do they mean by a beautiful world? This means killing off all the weak Pokemon and only preserving the perfect creatures. So that's kind of pretty ideology to Nazism and as well. And as well, the leader, their leader Lysandra, is extremely charismatic and believes that people should exist based on physical and ideological factors. Yeah, reminds me of someone. Alright, so yeah. But yeah, the most interesting one is uh, he's preserving only perfect creatures. 
In his last thing, if you're playing in the game, this is a spoiler alert if you haven't played X and Y Leaf as well. Um, when he's inside the, the headquarters, he destroys it. And then he gets buried inside the rubble. And it's not known if he killed himself or he's still alive. But he nobody knows what happened to him. So this is kind of like the suicide of Hitler. And we don't know if he killed himself or he's still alive. Nobody knows. Because he uh, destroys the headquarters while he's inside of it. So yeah, that brings a lot of different people's minds to like... Could it be the Pokemon creators um, made a comparison to the Nazisms um, into this Team Flare? But most likely not. <laughs> this is just a funny theory that I came up with. And yeah, I've been hearing about it as well. Um, so yeah, this is just a theory. I hope nobody got offended. I didn't, I didn't try to offend anyone while making this theory. But yeah, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to talk about that theory. So yeah, thanks for watching, um, and if you have a suggestion for the next year, leave, me, leave it in the comment section and I'll look at it. Alright, thanks for watching. So if you haven't checked out these other two theories that are quite interesting, there's those two squares, boxes in the middle, where you can press and go to that link to those conspiracy theories of Pokemon. Um, one is live forever inside a Pokeball, that means Pokemon can live forever inside a Pokeball. And on the right will be the level decreasing theory, which is Ash's Pokemon's level decrease while they're training because they did decrease, you know. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Thanks, and hopefully you check them out.